Hello everyone, I'm Alex of Vending Machine Support, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the price on an AMS vending machine. So the first thing we do is we need to actually enter service mode. So to do that, we're going to press the service mode button located on the inside of the machine, on the left hand side behind the monetary door. So you can open this door up and here you're presented with your coin changer and your dollar bill acceptor. And on the right hand side wall here is the actual control board. Bottom right hand corner of that control board is the service mode button. So I'm going to go ahead and press that one time. And then you're presented with an audible beep, let you know you've entered service mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and close the door slightly. I'm going to leave it slightly ajar because if I was to close the door all the way in, it would actually put itself back into sales mode. Now at this point, all of our stuff is going to be done from the front of the machine on the right hand side here using the keypad. Now, when you press the service mode button, you should be presented with accounting data on the display. Now, if you don't have that, what you're now seeing then is actually the error codes that have been recorded since the door was closed last. So you'll to clear those errors, you want to press the zero key to clear those errors out until you get to accounting data. Now, once you have accounting data, you're going to press the pound key to get to price settings. Go ahead and keep pressing the pound key. And then here I got price settings. Now, a really neat feature on the AMS control board is the bottom line of the screen actually tells you which button you need to press to perform which action. So here it tells me if I press one to set prices. So I press button, section button one, and here it tells me enter a selection. So I'm going to start with my top selection here, top row left hand side, which is selection 10. I'm going to go ahead and set that to $1.25. So enter a selection, which is 10. My current price is showing in the upper right hand corner, which is 10 cents. I need to press nine to edit the price. Now that current price disappears, allowing me to enter in my new price, which is $1.25. So I hit one, two, five. And then here at the screen, it tells me to press the asterisk or the star key to save that price. So I press that one time and it tells me to press the asterisk or star key again to save that price to confirm. Yes, I do. All right, so selection 10 is now set to $1.25. Now, there are some shortcut features that allows you to price the entire tray or price the entire machine. So for example, if I want to price the second tray here to $1.25 as well, but I want, so I can start anywhere on that tray. So let's say I'm gonna start with 24. So here it says enter selection, hit 24. I'm gonna press nine to edit the price. And I'm gonna hit my new price of $1.25, one, two, five. And then here I'm going to press the star key and now it's going to tell me if I press the star key or asterisk key again to save just that selection. No, I want to save that price to the entire tray. So I need to press one to do that. I press one, here it tells me tray two saved. So this entire tray is now saved to $1.25. Kind of a good shortcut to have on the machine. Now let's say I wanted to change my mind and I'm going to price the entire machine to a dollar. So I can choose any selection in the machine to go ahead and price that at a dollar and copy that price to everything in the machine. This would be useful if you actually wanted to have your most common price in the machine, let's say is a dollar. And so you'd set the entire machine to a dollar and then go in and change the, uh, the individual prices. So here I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to press uh, 35 is where I'm going to choose and I'm going to assign that to a dollar and then copy that price to the entire machine. So I waited too long here, so I need to press one for uh, set prices. I'm going to enter my selection, which is 35. Again, nine to edit the price. And then here I'm going to set it to a dollar. And I'm going to press the asterisk key to save it. And then now I can press two to save that price to everything or save all. So I'm gonna go ahead and press two to do that now. So all my prices are saved at $1. Now I've got one selection I don't want to be at a dollar and that's gonna be 42. So I'm gonna want to set that at 50 cents. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and key in that selection. I'm gonna press nine to edit. I'm now going to press five zero to create that. So it's 50 cents. Now if I press the asterisk key one time and then the asterisk key one more time, then 42 is now saved to 50 cents, and everything else in the machine is set for $1. Now a little tip, if you're first time uh, pricing these machines up and you're first time loading it, is to go ahead and put all your product in the machine before you start trying to program the price. It's always a lot easier if you have a visual reference of what product you're pricing, as opposed to thinking, oh, I think the coat goes into 13 because it was 50 cents. So go ahead and put your product in first, then do your pricing uh, for your machine on that. Now when you're done, you're simply just going to close the door on the machine and that will put it back into sales mode. Turn the T-handle here. You're going to get a little double beat once it's set up into, here we are. 
So now the machine is actually back into sales mode, and here you can go ahead and lock the door and be on your way. Now, if you found this video useful, I really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments or ideas of videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. Thank you. We'll see you on the next video. Thank you.